Hey guys, this is a new catch can from Elite Engineering. It's called the E2000, and you can see here all the stuff that you'll get with it, that should come along with it. And it's designed specifically for 2014 plus uh, GM trucks. So uh, here is a uh, GMC Sierra, as you can see. This is a uh, 2017, so it'll also work on, you know, Chevrolet Silverados. And uh, I think it'll work on the, uh, you know, the brand new uh, GM trucks coming out too. The install is slightly different. So as you can see here, we're just going to jump straight into this. And uh, we're simply taking off these, uh, these air lines here. Uh, I believe this is the, uh, the clean line, so this is the return to the, uh, the intake. And um, we're going to go over to the, uh, the passenger side now and uh, take off the, uh, the dirty line, uh, as they call it. Uh, guys, something I learned about these clips is uh, I was trying to like depress the clip at the same time and wiggle it and I found uh, the best way to do it was to kind of press the clip all the way in and um, until it clicks and then remove it and that's how you remove those quick connect fittings. And uh, now we're just going to move on to these uh, worm gear clamps, I believe they're called. And uh, this one is between the mass airflow sensor and the intake itself. So, uh, pretty simple, we're just going to loosen this clamp up here, and uh, that'll allow us to take that off. And then we're going to move on over to the, um, the one between the intake itself and the throttle body. And as you're going to see here, I have a little bit of trouble uh, reaching this, so I needed to go get a stool. Um, not sure if you guys will have the same trouble or not, this is a four-wheel drive truck, so it sits a little higher. Hey guys, so what you're going to see here is just a, a better view of what we were looking at before. Um, this is just between the, uh, the air intake box and the throttle body. Um, sorry that my hands are, are blocking a lot of this, but um, you guys get the idea. You're just going to uh, loosen this up and then this, this intake box here uh, will come out. Um, overall, this is a pretty simple install. Um, I thought this whole thing was going to have quick connect fittings, you know, all the way around. But um, the only things that are quick connect are what goes back to the engine of which you're taking off. You still have to um, thread on the ones to go to the catch can itself. Don't get me wrong though, guys. Um, the two quick connect fittings that go back to the uh, engine here make this way easier considering um, the tight places they're in. So um, now that you can see that we have those uh, two air lines and the uh, two worm gear clamps removed and uh, we wiggle those off, the air intake just comes right out. Um, overall, you can expect this job to probably take you in the uh, range of an hour, um, probably even less than that, especially if you've done stuff like that before. So uh, what we're looking at now is this L bracket here that's actually used to uh, uh, mount the catch can. And uh, we're going to start here by uh, taking off the left bolt of the uh, master brake cylinder. And uh, this is a 15 millimeter, if you guys wanted to know. Um, if yours is the same thing, it'll save you some time. Uh, so we're just gonna take this off. And um, you'll see here, be really careful uh, not to let this bolt, when you get it fully loose, not to fall down into the engine. There's so many little nooks and crannies and stuff like that, um, you could very well lose it. Okay guys, now that we uh, got that nut off there, I'm just going to slide this uh, L bracket over the um, master brake cylinder bolt and uh, thread the nut back on. Just um, do it like you see here, make sure the, um, the slots are over towards the left side and um, just I think I, I found a way that I wanted it to be and I went ahead and tightened it down.
Hey guys, so I made a little mistake here. I realized I should have went ahead and just mounted the catch can to show you guys that. But instead, I'm moving over here to the actual ventilation line you need to remove. And um, this is the uh, dirty end here on the uh, 5.3 liter. You're going to find it right here, it, right next to the, uh, the throttle body. As you can see, it's kind of like underneath it and to the right. And this next one here is a uh, little bit tricky. And uh, I'm trying to point to it and show you here. Oh, you'll get a better look at it right now. And um, you'll see me here. I've already depressed it and uh, pulled it off. Um, just remember my tip about fully depressing these before you try to uh, wiggle them off. And uh, that will help you guys out, I'm sure. Hey guys, I didn't mean to call uh, the one in the uh, dirty line because I guess technically this whole line is, uh, you know, the dirty line that just sucks the uh, crud and stuff back down into um, the top of your intake on top of your lifters there. So um, you're going to see here in a second, I'm going to uh, pull this thing out so you guys can see exactly what it looks like and what you should have. So this is it. And I'm trying to show you here all the uh, the oil and crud and stuff that's uh, that's been sucked through this line here. Um, you can see it's. Uh, I hope you guys can see this, some of this on camera. It's uh, pretty saturated. So um, hopefully this catch can will um, prevent a lot of this stuff from uh, going back into the top of the engine. And uh, so now we're moving on to uh, mounting the catch can. So uh, pick one of these slots, either the top or bottom. Uh, I chose the top one, I believe, and uh, you're just going to thread these uh, these nuts, and uh, I believe they have lock washers on them, and they are 11 millimeter, so hopefully that helps you guys out. So I'm just going to thread them on here and uh, get it where I want it. So I just realized that I forgot to record any footage of me tightening down these bolts that actually go in the catch can itself and the bracket that goes around the catch can that you can see here. Uh, again, they're all 11 millimeter, so just make sure after you get the catch can where you want it, you just um, torque all these down and uh, you shouldn't have any problems. Hey guys, so while we're doing this, uh, let me know if you guys like videos like this. Um, I'd really appreciate if you consider giving me a thumbs up and uh, let me know if you guys like stuff like this. Um, I do stuff like this all the time. Um, I just figured I'd make a video of this since uh, this I don't think there's a video of this catch can getting installed anywhere else. So um, I thought this would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so uh, drop a comment, drop a like. Um, let me know how you guys feel about it. So what you'll see me doing here now is just using these quick connect lines. Uh, this is where these things come in really handy, by the way, even though um, they're only one sided. Um, it makes this way easier, especially for this one right here. Um, you just see me here. It's really hard to see, but I'm just snaking it back through to the same place that you took it off of. And uh, these click in really good. I really like how these, uh, these snapped in. And now we're just uh, doing the other one here. Pretty simple stuff. Just press it all the way down and you'll, uh, you'll feel it snap in. You could probably even see it there. Okay, so um, my cameraman missed it here. But what I'm trying to tell you is the one that's in the front near the throttle body goes that's the inline and that one always goes on the higher end of the elite engineering cans and uh, this other one here the one that's halfway back on the uh, top of the engine the one that's harder to get to is going to go on the lower end of the catch can
So after you have these uh, these lines on here seated like you saw earlier, uh, you're just going to thread them on. Um, you, you're going to need two open-ended wrenches, uh, one to hold the braided line while you actually screw the um, the nut on the catch can itself to you know use it to tighten it. And uh, these are uh, three-quarter wrenches too, so you guys know. And um, pretty simple stuff here, just uh, make sure you get these pretty tight. Um, I didn't use Teflon tape or you know anything like that. I just made sure they were pretty tight and uh, that'll take care of that. <clears throat> and now we're just going to put everything back together. Uh, you'll see me putting the, um, the air intake box back in here and just make sure that you know it goes uh, snugly over the throttle body and uh, snugly over the mass airflow sensor over here to the left. And then after you get that done, you're just going to uh, click these air lines back in. And I don't think I have any footage of me, you know, uh, screwing the worm gear clamps back down. But don't forget about that. Make sure you tighten the worm gear clamp back down that you see right there on the uh, between the air intake box and the throttle body. And uh, then, you know, of course, the one between the air intake box and the uh, mass airflow sensor. So what we have here now is the finished result, and guys, as you can see, it looks great. Um, it looks like it's something that belongs in the engine bay of this truck. It doesn't stick out one bit, so that's much appreciated. And we're going to move into the uh, inside of the truck now, and I'm going to start the truck up and see if we have a check engine light. And you can see the, uh, the check engine light just went off. So uh, that's good news, and uh, I'm going to reset the miles per gallon and put a couple hundred miles on it at least, and we'll check the catch can and see if it saves me anything, any uh, miles per gallon, but I'm not expecting to get better than what I'm getting now. I'm getting right around uh, 18 miles to the gallon, as you can see, which is awesome as far as I'm concerned. 